best. Yeah. So excuse me if Eddie and Ketia ain't what I was expecting. Yeah. Zip it. Learn how to defend your mug. Anyway, let's come back to this guy. Because he's so, he's so conky out, isn't he? He's so conky out, this geezer. So conky out. Yeah. Yeah. So conky out. Really. Cool. Let's see how conky out he is. Let's have a little look. All you've got to do is a simple search on um, Ian Wright kit launch on a Google search. Yeah, but Lee, this is Adidas. This is not Arsenal. It's Adidas. Yeah, it's Adidas. It is Adidas. You're right. Uh, here he is in the one-off uh, white kit. There he is. Uh, actively promoting that one. Uh, obviously, that wasn't for money, that one. That was actually for a good cause. Um, here he is in this one. The Originals. Arsenal dropped inspired timeless classics. Of course they do. Woohoo! Wheel out right here for those fouls. There he is. Picking up the bag again. Yep. Yeah. There he is. Uh, what else have we got here? We've got some gems in here, by the way. We have got some good ones in here. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Oh, here we go. The bruised banana. They wheeled out Winterburn and Seaman on that one as well. Look, there you go. What else we got? We've got plenty more. We've got plenty more people. Plenty more. So he's actively cronky out, this guy, yeah? Cronky out. It's a disgrace. Here we go. There we go. The new away kit. The new away kit. There we go, look. Actively cronky out. Cronky out. He tweeted it. You've seen it. He's constantly slagging off the, the owner. Maybe with all the money Adidas are paying him to promote these shirts, he can bank a few quid, yeah, and go and buy the club himself. Because he doesn't like the owner, does he? Maybe he can do that. He seems to know everything. Seems to know what, what the fans want all the time. And uh, you're not a fan. You're not a fan, mate. You're not a fan, yeah, unless you're super sickly toxic positive. So uh, I'm going to show you something else that he, um, that he put out there. Because obviously we're only dealing facts about the club on this channel. And I'm sick and tired of people trying to bully other people into actually not having their opinion put out there. Yeah, I'm not having it anymore. I'm sick and tired of it. Yes, well done. Legend of the club. Well done. Well done. You ain't telling me what I can and can't say. You ain't telling me how I feel about Eddie and Ketia or how I feel about this football club. You ain't telling me nothing. Yeah, I've got my own opinion. And if you don't like it, tough. It's as simple as that, right? This is the same. Um, this is the same guy, by the way, um, that was Eddie and Ketty's PR man yesterday. You've seen that, yeah? Yeah, you've seen what he said. I'll show it again for all the people that weren't paying attention. What's the number? Why don't you say nothing if you have nothing positive to say to our players? You can never call yourself a fan, an Arsenal fan, with negativity of this nature. Would you say this to Eddie's face? If not, STFU. Cool. Only the month, um, well, about six weeks earlier, six weeks earlier, six weeks earlier, he said this. What the F is going on? Arsenal legend Ian Wright slams Eddie and Ketia for lack of desire to snatch the number nine spot. Wow. Ex-professional footballer calling out a professional footballer currently for his desire. How can that be a fan? How can, you, how can you be a fan with negativity of that nature towards a player? I mean, that's disgusting. Would you say that to Eddie's face? If not, STFU. Seriously, this guy is a hypocrite, man. Absolute hypocrite. And I'm sick and tired of it. Yeah? I'm sick and tired of it. And people will say, yeah, but Cronky's not paying him. Adidas are. Yeah, cool. Adidas are paying him. Well done. You're owning the bag, mate. You're twerking on BT Sport. You then say something completely different on Match of the Day. You then go on another channel overseas and you'll say something completely different. Then you'll go and pick up the bag with Adidas. Well done. Get paid. Do what you've got to do to make your money. But don't expect me to sit and fall for your BS. Yeah? Because I'll tell you something. If he was conky out, if he genuinely was conky out, when he was approached to do all this merchandise, yeah, when he was approached to do all of this, he'd say, I don't want no part of that. Yeah, that's going in conky's pocket. But no. Yeah, I'm, oh yeah, I love some of that, mate. Oh yeah, get me on all of them. Yeah, I'll do the video walking down the street in London. I'll get so and so. Oh, hey, come on, let's go in the chip shop. Woohoo! Woohoo! Wheel me in, people. I'm up for that. Absolute disgrace. It's a disgrace. Yeah, how many kit launches? Yeah, how many kit launches has this guy done? Yeah, he's conky out, yeah? Don't be bullied by these people, I'm telling you. Do not be bullied by these people. These people are only there for the pound note. If the pound note dries up, they ain't saying nothing. Have you ever noticed, right? That, um, I don't know, say Thierry Henry, for example. Thierry Henry 
obviously saved his money, obviously put